there is a big war on the use and sale of tobacco. And we have seen how the UK and the EU have tackled this problem. They implemented a lot of strict regulations and high taxes. But now they want to make tobacco a thing of the past. Just last week, Mexico passed a new law and they're banning the advertising of tobacco products, which is fine. We have that here in the UK that, you know, tobacco products shouldn't be visible, that there is no advertising on TV, social media, sporting events, nothing like that is allowed here. And that's fine. They also have the warning label, those horrible warning labels on them. Okay, similar to what we have here. So, so what's new? What is concerning me about this new law? Well, within this law, they're also banning smoking in open areas where they're calling it concurrencia colectiva, which means where people could get together. That means that you won't be able to smoke in a park, in a beach. You won't be able to smoke outside the pub, outside a, a restaurant, if you have a little terrace, in, outside the hotel. None of these places that are open, that are outside, you will be able to smoke. And this is coming from a country that produces tobacco products. I mean, in the cigar industry, the very famous Negro San Andres comes from Mexico and they're doing this. Then we have New Zealand that last month they passed a law banning anybody born after the 1st of January 2009 from purchasing tobacco products. This means that if somebody born after this date enters a cigar lounge and wants to buy a cigar, they're going to be ID'd and they're going to be turned down. These people won't be able to enjoy the pleasure of smoking a cigar, of indulging, of, you know, tasting this beautiful world. I won't be able to take my son to a cigar lounge or anywhere to smoke with him, maybe to celebrate his graduation, maybe to celebrate his wedding, or maybe just to chill with him. I won't be able to do that. And also, they want the minimum age to keep going up every year. And Europe is trying to do a similar thing. They're trying to implement a law where anybody born after 2010 won't be able to purchase any tobacco related products. Spain, they're forcing the tobacco companies to clean out the beach. And last year in June, the UK, UK government commissioned a report raising the legal smoking age each year to phase out the tobacco use among young people. All of this on top of the duties, the taxes, no advertising, the health warning, the bans of smoking indoors. The war is real. And yes, yes, I know what you're going to say. This is to target cigarette smokers and to stop the youth getting into the habit and getting addicted. And that's fine. I understand that. But the problem that I have and that you should have as well is that cigars come under the umbrella of tobacco products and they're making us feel like criminals from enjoying and, and the appreciation of cigars and cigars and cigarettes are two completely different products recent studies have shown that the smoke from premium cigars contain significantly lower levels of harmful chemicals than that of mass-produced cigars in fact study published in the journal tobacco control found that the levels of certain toxic compounds in premium cigar smoke were up to 10 times lower of those of mass-produced cigars it is also important to note that premium cigar smoking is typically not a daily habit. The majority of premium cigar smokers only indulge in a cigar a few times a week or even less frequently, which means that the overall exposure of harmful chemicals is much lower than those of who smoke cigarettes or mass produce cigars daily. The risk of death from lung cancer among cigar smokers is lower than that among cigarette smokers. A study published in the Journal of National Cancer Institute. And I'm not trying to say that cigar smoking is, is healthy or that you should take up smoking. That's not what I'm trying to do here. But I do believe that we should be allowed to make our own decisions and our own choices. And by lawmakers creating these laws, you're stopping the new generation from enjoying and having a love for cigars like we all have. The reason I build this channel is because I want to create a nice community of people who have a love and enjoy cigars. And with laws like this, this new generation won't be able to experience this. <laughs> if you're liking this video, make sure you subscribe because this is what my videos are about. Some reviews, 
some hot topics, some news. This is what I do. If you're liking it, make sure we come all together and we fight this because I think there is a lot that cigars give you. It's like therapy for me. And I would like my sons and, and other younger generations to be able to have the choice of taking up smoking cigars if they want to. Enjoy with the parents, with the family, like I want to do. Something that Aboriginal Indians did for many years, a product and a ritual that has moved the world, fortune, power, and not to mention the amount of people that live from it. There is said that over 200 different hands touch your cigar before it makes it to the humidor. The origins of cigars can be tracked back to the pre-Columbian indigenous people of Mesoamerica. They will roll the tobacco leaves and smoke them for ceremonial and medical purposes. When the Spanish conquistadors arrived in the 16th centuries, they discovered the practice and bought cigars back to Europe, where they quickly gained popularity among the wealthy and powerful. So yeah, and to use the word of the moment, I am triggered by this. And so should you, sister and brother of the leaf. Because at the rate that we're going, in 50, 40, maybe even 20 years, maybe even less, me and you won't be able to enjoy this either. It's not just the future generations. Maybe me and you won't be able to do it. And I don't think that should be taken away from us. And also, I think this is going to go horribly wrong because something that we have seen from like the USA when they did the prohibition on alcohol, anytime that they prohibit anything, alcohol, the war on drugs, it goes really bad. Black markets, adulterated products, gangsters. I mean, can you imagine this happening to cigars? Can you imagine, you know, cigars going through this? So, so our, our idea of smoking just a pure leaf that is being well kept, fermented for many years, all of, all of this will be destroyed. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to have this type of premium cigars. And no, I'm not a lawmaker, so I don't know what would be the best thing to do or which law, but I think cigars should be classed as a different product or maybe as an experience or maybe like a product of wealth or maybe a pro I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe like whiskeys and wines, maybe as more as a indulgement that uh, actual smoking. I, I really don't know. Or, or maybe, maybe I think, I think they should make a law that any product that has more than one chemical, it stops being a tobacco product. Because our cigars are tobacco products. It is basically a leaf rolled up and we are smoking tobacco. Cigarettes have a ton of chemicals and they have paper and they have this and so are the vape pens and all of this. These are filled with chemicals. That is what they're trying to tackle. But they're affecting us when we are really smoking the tobacco plant. And I think maybe maybe that is the way. I don't know. But someone or something needs to be done to stop the categorization of cigars under the same umbrella of tobacco or cigarettes under the umbrella of tobacco. And as cigar enthusiasts, aficionados, people who really enjoy a premium cigar, I think our voices should be heard. I think we should do something about this because if we leave it, I can see how easily in 10, 20 years, 15, 15 years, we won't be able to do this ourselves. And, and I think that also robbing our younger generations from enjoying this. They, they should be allowed, you know, they, they, there's, there's a long history from the Indians to Europe to us now. I wouldn't like this to be erased and, and being seen as a bad thing that the past did. But tell me what you think. What would you do? Let me know in the comments. Let's keep the conversation going. What would you do? What do you think about all of these laws? Where do you stand? And if you like this video, I leave you here last week's video and also the playlist. In the meantime, smoke less, smoke the best.